So the surf's probably a little bit loud, but we're here at Halama Beach, sunset. Uh, it's the weekend before the 4th of July, and uh, it's been foggy and it's been an adventure. Um, the first night we got here, we checked in like three o'clock and they go, oh, we got word from Vandenberg Space Force Base, which is next door, that they're launching a Falcon 9 rocket. So at five o'clock, it's mandatory evacuation, which normally isn't, hey, okay, that big of a deal. The problem is, this location, you gotta drive your rigs, motor home or pull behind, down a sketchy road for about 40 minutes. It's like 15 miles from the main highway one that goes uh, between 101 and Lompoc. And uh, so we had just got down off that road, set up camp, had to turn around and go back off the road to highway one out of, outside the uh, Space Force base quarantine area or evacuation area and uh then after it launched uh we could come back well you're thinking oh hey that's cool you got to see a falcon 9 launch nope fogged in foggy marine layer you know pea soup thick we heard it but we didn't see hardly anything i'll show you a little clip of what we were able to see barely anything so you know, it was an adventure yesterday, and so we got back to camp probably about 9 p.m. It launched, I think, at 8.15, and they opened the road about 8.30. And then this morning, they go, oh, Edison's doing some work. You can have a uh, power outage from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., which isn't that big of a deal. Um, you know, we're at the beach. It's like you're outside your rig anyway. So, but even still, it's a little bit of an inconvenience, you know, um, but... You know, you make do. You, sometimes you don't get to control these things. And, uh, you know, when you book a reservation uh, months in advance, you don't know that Vandenberg's launching a Falcon 9 rocket, uh, you know, to go put up uh, some top secret missions. So, anyway, um, it's been fun. It's an amazing location. There's a bunch of locations on the beach. Um, camping spots right on the sand that are hard to get. And those are boondocking spots. And then the, the, most of the ones on the bottom level, on the beach level, are all boondocking. And then we're up one level, which has power hookups. No water though, it's kind of weird, just power only. And then the top level is really nice. You can see really well from up there. Um, it has power only as well. So when you get here, you gotta load up your water and they have dumping stations and whatnot. So if you're staying here for more than a couple days, you know, at some point in time during the trip, you're gonna have to go and um, change your tanks out and, you know, dump and refill. Uh, but it's it's an amazing place, and it's hard to get a reservation here. But I will tell you this. Week before the 4th, the water temperature is about 56, 55 degrees. I tried fishing, surf fishing, and no joke, 40 minutes, that was it. My knees were purple from the, from the knee down. So it's cold. Bring a wetsuit or you're not going swimming. Uh, it's really cold water up here. So... Uh, don't expect it just be like your normal beach trip where you're like, yeah, we're going to go swim and have a good time. It's really, really cold up here. So um, know that. Another thing I would say is, um, you know, there's a place to eat here. Uh, they get really good hamburgers. They're well famous for their hamburgers, the Hama burgers. Um, and there's a couple of things. There's a little bit of a store, but there's no gas here either. So guy next to us from Riverside County, Southern California, he drove here all the way from Riverside County. He took that road and he got here and his fuel light came on when he was coming in. So it was like, hey, there's no gas station, no city down this road anywhere? I'm like, no, dude, you're in the middle of nowhere. We're 30 minutes from Lompo. He's like, my fuel light just came on. So he had to call a tow truck and bring a couple gallons to him. And I sold me yeah, a couple gallons that you should be able to get you to Lompoc. Um, you had to like, pick up like a Chevy half ton with like maybe a 20 foot pole behind. I told him, yeah, just take your pickup only, go top off in Lompoc. But you know, so it's remote. You've got to plan those things ahead of time. You know, fill up top off with gas when you're, you know, in the Santa Barbara area before you get here. So, you know, if you have not a lot of range in your vehicle towing, uh, you don't end up in the situation he did. So it's fun. We had a good time. But, um, you know, it's definitely a little bit of a challenge. And sometimes trips are that way. They're a little more challenging than you would expect. Um, you know, can I control the Falcon 9 
uh, Vandenberg Space Force Base rocket schedule? Nope. Uh, you just got to roll with the punches. Uh, now, sometimes they said they don't kick you off the beach. And if they don't, they said this is like the best spot in the world to watch one of those rockets go off. But we're so close that most of the time they evacuate the beach. So anyway, um, welcome to Hoama. Uh, it's a cool place, really cool place. Off the beaten path, this is probably one of the, the most remote beaches in all of California. Off the beaten path. Like, I can't think of another one. It might exist, but if it does, I don't know where. So, um, yeah, it's very cool, very, very cool. A lot of motorcycle guys ride that road. It's 13 miles of windy roads. I've never driven that road and not dragged branches in a couple spots. It's overgrown. You got to be careful. I would not recommend bringing a giant fifth wheel or something in here. That's sketch city. Some serious hairpin turns and like tight switchbacks. There's people who do it, but most of the rigs I'm looking in here are less than 30 feet. So, uh, you know, just kind of know that. So anyway, thanks for watching.